Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the trombone. We are going to be doing lesson 13. Lesson 13, everybody. Okay, and uh, I hope you're already warmed up on your five note scales, but I would like to do another warm up. Everybody flip to page 15. Everybody flip back to page 15, and I'd like to do the one at the bottom of the page. It's called technique. Technique means skills, arm skills, getting the notes right. Um, so page 15, the one on the very bottom, the one called technique. Okay, so take a look at it. You see that it's mostly like a five note scale practice thing. Okay, so everybody warm up low B flat. Okay, page 15, the one at the very bottom. One, two, ready, go. Now flip it back to where we were before, which was lesson 13. Let me double check that. Yeah, lesson 13. Okay. So this page introduces TT. And the real name for TT is two eighth notes. Two eighth notes. So go ahead and take a look at the top of lesson 13. This is called the TT. The real name of it is two eighth notes. And sometimes there's four in a row. I call that the mega TT. TT, TT. Four eighth notes. Okay. Um, so, the deal is with TT is you have to have it twice as fast as ta ta. So, mathematically, two TTs have to fit, uh, be twice as fast as two ta's. So, if ta was going ta 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 ta, the speed of TT would be t t t t t t t t. So, TT always has to be twice as fast as ta ta. Okay, so let's look at song one. Do you see how song one is just a bunch of Fs? We're just going to um, say the, the nicknames for this one. Let's not bother playing this on your trombone. If you want to, of course you can. But on song one, we're going to just say the nickname so you can get used to the speed of the TTs and the TAs. So the first note is a half note, so it would be TA. Okay, so song number one. And of course, the first time through, you might just want to listen to me do it and then rewind the video and do it with me. Okay, so number one, I'm just going to say the ta's and the tt's. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Ti, 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 ta. Okay, so your tongue would have to match the speed of those TTs and TAs. Okay, so let's take a look at number two. Scan through number two. It's based on the five note scale. See, it starts with some low B flats. So song two would be T, 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 Ta, Ta, T, 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 Ta, Ta. That's the speed I'm going to take it. Remember, if it's too fast for you, feel free to just listen to me play it the first times or turn off the video and just practice it a bit at your, yourself. Um, but eventually, I hope you can play it along with me. So song two, I'm going to warm up some TTs on low B flat. Go ahead and try that. Okay, song two. T, 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 Ta, Ta. Here's song two, everybody. Ready, go. Take a look at song number three. Do you see that song three is just a bunch of Fs? So again, on song three, if you want to play it, go ahead. But I'm just going to practice saying the nicknames. So song three will be ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. On song three, try to say the nicknames with me. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Ti, 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 ta. All right, and that was song three. All right, take a look at four. Okay, so song four is ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Two beats in each measure. Okay, so everybody, song four, everybody warm up ti, ti, ta on low B flat. 
Song four, everyone. One, two, ready, song four. Okay, take a look at song five. Do you see how there's four eighth notes in a row? I call it a mega T T. T T T T ta ta. Which has the same speed as Mississippi Mud Pie. I think that's why they named it that. F F F F E flat E flat. Okay, so song number five. Everybody warm up some F's. <laughs> Okay, song five, everybody. One, two, ready, go. Go to the next page, page 21. Okay, and on page 21, song six. Look it over, they're getting a little more challenging. F, 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 D, D, D. That's going to be the speed I'm going to go on song six. Okay, everybody, warm up song six. One, two, ready, go. Song seven, I'm gonna get a quick drink of water. I hope you always have some water near you when you play trombone. And some people like to wear chapstick too. Okay, song seven, look it over. Ti ti ta ti ti ta. Look at me, look at me. I think that's why they named it Look at Me. <laughs> okay, song seven, everybody warm up B flat. <laughs> Okay, song seven. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Um, the last one on this page is a short ride on horseback, and it starts with pickup notes. Remember that some songs start on an incomplete measure. So look at short ride on horseback. You know how there's supposed to be four beats in every measure? You can see that the first measure is only two beats, so it's an incomplete measure. Those are called pickup notes. So to lead off this song, I'll go one, two, and you come in right on beat three and flow through the song. All right, there are a few rests on it. Hey, look at measure 10. Measure 10, I hope you recognize that that is an A flat. The note in measure 10 is a high A flat, third position. And um, A flat, and remember that's called an accidental when they change a flat, because the, the key signature is B flat and E flat. But here they want also A flat, so they put the flat sign. And that means it carries through the measure, so all of those are A flats. That's a G. But all of these are to be played third position A flat. Ta, ti, ti, ta, all should be A flat. Okay. I also want to remind you that the last song on every lesson, the last song in every lesson has a recording that goes along with it, and I already sent that to you. Um, and the recording is as a full band playing, um, and you can play along with them, meaning there's drums and trumpets and flutes and trombones and all that. So A Short Ride on Horseback is the last song on Lesson 13, so it has a recording that goes along with it. So I encourage you to get that, find that recording that I gave you and try to play along with it. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to lead it off with one, two, and then you come in on the B flat. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. Everybody warm up some low B flats. Okay, I'm going to just lead it off with one, two. One, two.